What's up my honey bunnies and welcome back to a new video. I hope you guys are doing incredible today. I feel a lot better today so I thought let's put on some makeup and film a video. So originally I was gonna do a pack with me and I was very proud of myself that I managed to pack all my skincare and makeup in this little makeup bag a little travel bag i used to pack way too much things things that i didn't even end up using and i just got tired of just lugging around all of this extra things that i didn't need so this time around well actually like the past couple times that i've traveled i've been trying to minimize more and more and more and more and i feel like i've gotten it down so i wanted to share that with you guys Be before i show you guys what's in the bag i want to tell you guys just a few tips on what i've learned throughout the years of how to travel lighter i used to watch those youtube videos on how people travel for like i don't know two weeks a month in a little tiny case and i'm like how how do they do that i want to travel with less things especially this time around when we went to thailand there was a lot of traveling and we had to take our luggage with us from like ferry to boat to get to an island and it was just crazy to be carrying around my backpack and my luggage it was so heavy so now I made a pack to myself that I am gonna travel as light as possible. One of the tips that I can give you is to research where you're going, like the weather, how it's gonna be. That way you know what type of skincare you're gonna wanna take with you, what type of makeup, whether it's powder, creams, wh whatever you think is gonna be great for that type of climate. Back in the day, I just used to pack whatever I wanted to wear and sometimes it didn't work out for me. So nowadays I do research and I check the weather and all that stuff before I pack my skincare and makeup. Another thing that I like to keep in mind when I'm packing my makeup and skincare is what type of things I'm going to be doing. Am I going to be hiking? Am I going to be at the beach? Am I going to be sightseeing? Am I going to be doing a lot of walking? Um, what are you going to be doing? And that's really going to help to determine what type of colors, what type of eyeshadows, what type of looks you're going to go for. For example, on this trip, I knew we were going to do a lot of sightseeing. We're going to be in the city for four days and then we we're gonna go to an island for the next three days so keeping in mind that it was gonna be humid I went with a very minimal makeup very just like skin like type of makeup very glowy but minimal makeup and that is exactly what I took and the last tip I want to share with you guys is to not take anything that you haven't already tried I mean come on it might not work it, you might not like it and if you don't have a backup then what are you gonna use pretty much what I'm trying to say is for you to take things that you already love maybe buy travel sizes ahead of time of the products that you already love those were the tips that have helped me to travel lighter now let's move on to what I actually took with me to Thailand and again I'm super proud because I, I was able to fit everything in one bag so this again is from Henry Charles I absolutely love this bag it was an amazing investment it was pretty pricey I did pay below retail because I did buy it at an event but this one does retail um, over a hundred dollars i think it's worth every penny this is how you open it it has a very strong magnet it's very very strong i've never had anything pop out or i've dropped it and it still didn't pop open so this is how you open it you open it like this and it has a lot of compartments it has compartments for your brushes it has this middle compartment that has a very strong zipper i love this zipper because i've never had trouble with like it getting stuck it's just very smooth and i hate let me tell you i hate zippers that get stuck like super low quality zippers are just like ugh, so annoying but this one is so smooth so this is what it looks like inside and i can't believe that i have skincare and makeup in one bag i used to just take my makeup in this bag and then have a separate bag for skincare a separate bag for toiletries a separate bag for sun care and i was just traveling with so many bags and so many products that i was like no stop like i can't keep doing this to myself just traveling and paying for extra sometimes i have to pay extra for um because my luggage is over the limit let's start with skincare i do have skincare in one little pocket right here i don't know if you guys can see it i knew that i'm going to be wearing makeup so i needed an oil cleanser and because i didn't have any oil cleansers and i didn't have time to buy any of my favorites i just took this one this is the only oil cleanser i had with me and it is a travel size this is something that i've never tried before i got this in a petivore and i was really excited for it because it is an oil cleanser and i love oil cleanser 
cleansers to remove my makeup I always do the double cleansing method so I use an oil to remove my makeup and, and and then a cleanser that's more like lathery and soapy to just take off anything that's still left behind this one was just not my favorite I didn't really like it I mean it did the job but I just it didn't blow me away and I did finish it I just wanted to bring it back so I can show you that I took this with me and I think this is a very expensive brand I, I didn't even tell you the brand it's called Kahina giving beauty and this is the oil cleanser the other cleanser that I took is this one right here this is the youth to the people and this is the kale and green tea spinach vitamin super food cleanser I love the way it smells it's just very fresh and it doesn't dry out my skin. Another thing that I've noticed that really does help when you're packing is to go in steps. For example, I know that I always use cleansers first and then toner and then moisturizer and blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? So that is going to help you not forget anything. So for toner, I did take the Shamanuti Seaweed Toner and this one I also got in a Petivore. This is not my absolute favorite toner, but I don't have the one that I absolutely love with me in my collection i actually have to order it but it's okay it's not something that i would buy full size as far as moisturizers i did take two i could have just taken one but i wanted one for the night and one for the day one of my absolute favorite daytime moisturizers for a hot weather or hot climate or even just summer it is the earthwise beauty ambrosia del cerrado liquid moisturizer if you're looking for a very lightweight moisturizer for the summer when it's going to be super hot you don't want to be layering so much skincare this is for sure the one you need to get and this is for um this is for oily and acne prone skin and if you've been watching my videos for a long time you know that this is one of my favorite products of all time it is a very bright uh sunshine just very beautiful color and it's it starts like a liquid but then when you start like putting it in kind of pressing it into the skin it starts to feel emollient it starts to feel like a moisturizer very lightweight but it is enough the ingredients in here are just amazing they're very healing they're just super relaxing i just love 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 this product so much and i do have a coupon code with earth whites beauty i think it's nz0424 and you get 15 percent off so i think that is a affiliate code though so just keep that in mind if you don't if you're against uh discounted codes that are affiliated the other moisturizer i took is an oil moisturizer and this one i did use at night and i'm so glad that i took it this is a travel size of the osea undaria argan oil argan is one of my absolute favorite oils for the body for the hair for my skin on the face just for the cuticles comes in a roller ball so you can just like roll it onto your skin even though this is an oil and it is a little more uh, heavier than the liquid moisturizer from earthwise beauty it's still not super heavy it sinks in really nicely and it's just one of my favorite products from osea so i had to take it for sure these little things right here little packages like what are these called little i don't know what are they called I am really struggling to find a word for these sachets samples these are perfect to take with you I didn't really use a lot of these but I did take them with me um, I did take two of these right here and these are the juice beauty green apple peel nightly brightening pads and these are so good uh, I did try like a little sample of this and then I went ahead and bought a travel size that comes with 14 of these little baggies and they're super thin because it's just one pad that comes in here and these are perfect for whenever you want to just brighten up your skin and just kind of have a little peel moment uh, another another thing that I did pack and I packed two of these one for me and one for my wife but we ended up actually just sharing one because we didn't really scrub that often um, this is the derma e anti-wrinkle scrub this is vitamin a and glyconic glycolic acid and we really enjoyed this one especially when we were in the sauna and steam room so this this over here i did use we actually used it twice me and my wife and this was enough for both of us derma e purifying two-in-one charcoal mask so i have lots of like the full sizes but i didn't want to take them even though they are pretty small i took this one because it's way smaller it doesn't take that much room if you ever get them with your orders uh juice beauty i know derma e juice beauty and a lot of brands send little samples like these and these are perfect for traveling so always save them especially if it's something that you already love i'm moving into makeup i did put this one in my bag this is a sunscreen this is the my shell sun protection 
Sunshield liquid tint in the SPF 50. This is by far my absolute favorite tinted SPF and I just love it. It has a really nice tint foundation. Like I said, I knew I was not gonna go for like full coverage or like just a whole mask of makeup. I wanted something very lightweight, something that would give me enough coverage, you know, to cover things, but not to like make me look super done up. So I went ahead with the Cover FX Power Play Concealers and I took them both. I took the G Medium 1 and G Medium 2, and I used this as concealer and as foundation on the days that I did need it, and it was just perfect. These are by far my favorite concealers. They're just perfect in every way. I do have a video on this, so I'll link it down below so I don't have to talk so much about them. Of course, I took a curling lash, a curling lash, curler i took two mascaras without even knowing i actually packed this one because this is a waterproof mascara this one is from ere perez and i know i say this way too much but this is the best waterproof mascara it doesn't smudge it doesn't flake it stays on it gives me volume it gives me a really good lash and it's just perfect so i took this one the milk makeup kush mascara i do have a little sample or a little travel size of it this mascara is a very heavy. It's made out of metal and it's pretty heavy. So I kind of not regretted it because I did use it a couple times, but this is not waterproof and it does smudge a little bit. I only used this one when I was in Bangkok and only for nighttime events. My plan was to take one lip liner, one lip gloss and one lipstick. And let me tell you, when I was packing, it was kind of hard to decide which ones to take, but I narrowed it down to these three and I'm so happy that I only took three products. Only three products. Th this one is from Thrive Cosmetics in the color Jesse. I actually showed you guys in my unboxing. Very nude color, especially paired with this lip gloss. It's just so, so pretty. This is Tickled from Marie Nati, and it's just a nice pinky nude. And, and like I said, it just pairs really nicely with the lip liner. And I've been really loving corals. So I took this one right here from the Organic Skin Co. This is in the color Coral, and it's just a beautiful peachy, corally color. It's the one I have on my lips. It can be very subtle or you can build it up to be a little more brighter. The brow product I took is a brow gel and this is the Brow Envy from Juice Beauty. I'm actually planning on doing a brow gel video where I talk about the ones that I have used. I really like this one because it really does keep the brows very situated. Like it keeps them wherever I brush them. I'm down to my last two makeup products. Let's talk about this one right here. I only tried it once before I left and I really liked it so I really wanted to take it with me. So this is a bronzer and this is from Han Cosmetics and it's in the color Malibu. And this is a dupe for the Hula bronzer from Benefit. It smells like chocolate, kind of like the Too Faced uh, bronzer, but it's so good. It's actually the one I'm wearing right now. It's very subtle. But it works really, really nicely on my skin tone. So I took this one with me. And then I also took a bronzer slash blush slash highlighting palette. This one is from e.l.f. Obviously, it's not natural, but it is vegan and cruelty free. And it's a really good palette to travel with because I knew that I can use this palette as eyeshadows, as highlighters. I can use them as a blush and bronzer. And this is a perfect example of something that you can use over and over for many different ways. This palette really came in handy and I'm really glad that I took it with me. I wish I could find something like this in a cleaner brand, something that has less chemicals. But for now, I'm going to be using this one. It's great. In my bag, I also took my razor and this little smaller razor that I used for like my mustache or like the middle part of my brows, the top of my brows. I didn't really use it, but just in case I took it. This one is from Preserve, which is an eco-friendly brand that uses recycled plastic to make the handles, which is really cool. I took some blotting papers. I was gonna take some setting powder, but I just, I knew I wasn't gonna need it because I really wanted something very glowy. So I didn't take that, but I did take blotting papers. That's last but not least, I also took some makeup brushes, of course, like, how else was I gonna put my makeup on? I took two face brushes, which are these two right here. And of course, they're two of my favorites. Like, why would I take brushes that I don't like with me, right? Um, so I took the Juice Beauty Sculpting Brush. I still owe you guys the expensive makeup brush video. I did an affordable one and I still need to film the expensive one. So this one is a pretty expensive one. I think it's like 40 something dollars, but it is worth it. It's such a great brush. It's angled, I don't know if you guys can see that. It's kind of cut, 
kind of weirdly. It's great to buff in your foundation. It's great to blend out your concealer. It's great to kind of like do contour, even to like apply some highlight to kind of like press it in. It's just a great multi-purpose brush. Another multi-purpose brush that I love is the Eric Perez Blush and Bronze. Perfect for setting powder, for bronzer, for blush. I did apply highlight with this one as well, so it's really great brush and then for eyeshadow i took four the smudge brush from eco tools this one is the essentials crease brush from real techniques base shadow brush from real techniques as well the last one is the fluffy eye blender brush from elf and that is it there's nothing else in this bag as you can see it holds so much so even though i did have all this product in here there was still room for like more makeup or more things but again i just wanted to keep it very minimal and like i said i'm very proud very proud of myself like right, all right my honey bunny so that was everything that i took as far as makeup and skincare i did take another toiletry bag but i did share it with my wife we took our toothpaste our toothbrushes in there um just like our shampoo and conditioner we do share a lot of that stuff so we only just took one anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys did please give it a huge thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys on my next video bye guys